Welcome to Garland Vintage, where today I'll be showing you around this barn and estate sale in Derry, New Hampshire. First, I started at this kitchen table where there was a lot of Pyrex, and I think that was glass bake. I had to move on pretty quickly though because somebody was buying the tablecloth underneath all that stuff, so they were about to remove all of it. And then I move over to this side table where I see this interesting covered dish that was slanted and I thought maybe it was a cheese dish. It was $10, so that kind of set the tone for what the prices might be like. They did end up giving me a very, very deep discount for all the stuff that I got, so the prices that are tagged are not particularly accurate. I thought this linen um, napkin was beautiful. It had kind of a blue onion pattern. Um, there were two of them, but I gave the other one to another lady who really liked it. Um, and then I saw these doilies. I was really in doily heaven at this point um, because it was it's actually kind of hard to find nice vintage fabrics in the Goodwills and thrift stores around here. I saw this picture that I think is Williamsburg pottery. It's probably a reproduction. Actually had a tag on it that said $6, so I think someone had bought it originally from an antique store. Here I am in the bedroom opening this chest that was cool but had a giant crack in it, and then I'm looking through the clothes. I'm guessing at this point a lot of the really cool vintage clothing had already been cleared out. I think this was day two or three of the estate sale. Actually, it was the last day. I was sort of trying to move quick because there were just a lot of people there. It was really steamy. Um, I'm about to show you how hard it was raining outside and I was wearing like a rain shell. So I was really kind of like steaming up under there. <laughs> and oh, this vintage wastebasket was really cool. I wish I had picked that up. And then I think I'm looking through some newspapers and books. It, this collection was really like an archive of decades and decades of clippings and news and there's more fabric, little kerchiefs and napkins. And I guess kind of like placemat type things. I just think they're really beautiful to add to bookshelf or table or have a little display full of them. see me digging through a box of towels. I was looking for some beach towels because we were heading off to Maine for a few days. We ended up not using any towels because it was too cold to really, you know, hang out on the beach um, <laughs> and just relax. But I was on the hunt and I was glad to see so many options to choose from. I really like that ochre gold colored towel. It was kind of um, unraveling on the sides. I thought this washcloth was really cute. Don't think I end up picking it up. I wish I had because it was ultimately pretty cheap. I love this lampshade. It was too broken. But I've never really seen a lampshade like that with those roosters. And then here is a box of stuff. <laughs> A box of more stuff. This ended up being like vintage Christmas, and I really liked this plug in candlestick that I'll show you here. The cord was in relatively nice shape, it looked like it might work, so I did grab that. And then I was looking through some more stuff here. Um, this is in kind of like an attic space, and it was super, super, super dusty. My allergies were starting to act up, so I did kind of move fast. They had some dishware.
moving on they just had boxes everywhere and a lot of picture frames some of which were in pretty rough shape i think i probably could have found some nice stuff there if i had looked further this little apothecary shelf was so cool i definitely would have got it if it had not been missing that drawer and, and i show you up here on the top shelf some tins and old packaging uh, it's just incredible like who would have thought to hang on to all that stuff then i pan around and it kind of give you a taste of what the house looked like it had wallpaper up i think an old couple had recently passed away and they were preparing the house to sell i'm really trying to open this little tool bag box thing but i give up probably a little too soon this picture reminds me of something I already have hanging in my house that's also uh, has a religious angelic theme so I was really surprised to find that here is a view out the window to the barn where I will head off to next that had a lot of treasures there looking at the books usually I don't really pick up books unless it's a cool edition of a book I already know and love And here I am in the kitchen. They had lots of really neat stuff. I loved that wooden shelf. And here's a weird toy I found where you're rolling a ball around trying to get it in those holes. This is in their living room area. I was kind of actually shocked and surprised to see some relatively modern electronics. This looks like it was their audio and TV setup. I loved this, I couldn't tell what it was, like an etching or a print. Then I start looking through some old spoon holder boxes. I start to get into the stationary ephemera portion of the sale. And I do spend a lot of time ultimately looking through old letters and postcards and I don't really show you that because I needed two hands to rifle through everything. He had a ton of tapes. I did find a Matchbox 20 tape, which I thought was kind of funny. I found some old game boards. My version of Candyland when I was a kid looked different than that, so that must have been pretty old. It was ripped down the middle, though. This looks like Strategio Strategy. I don't know. It wasn't a game I had heard of. Looks like just more electronic stuff. Dominoes. I ended up picking up a few books about early American furniture and I think shaker furniture too. Just some reference books that I thought would be useful to have. Here I'm looking through a book about wildflowers and it had some annotations. Also, this bookmark postcard of a black and white photo of ferns that I did end up grabbing. Now we're in the basement. I'm showing you this book because actually my husband got this for me a few years ago, this exact same edition, and I was pleasantly surprised to see it floating around here 
in the basement. I hope somebody ended up picking it up. Here's a Disney book that seemed at least 30 or 40 years old. I did end up looking up comps for it and it wasn't rare or anything like that, so I left it behind. I'm here now at the screened-in porch where they were selling tons of tiny little dishwares and old tins and just lots of small, tiny little treasures that I thought would be great for reselling or to put in my own little collection. Everything was priced at $2 or more, but ultimately I think they gave it to me for much less than that. So looking through this footage, I really have some regrets that I didn't pick up more. I just didn't know how deep of a discount they would give me when I was checking out and by then I had already spent an hour or two in there. My allergies were really bad so I didn't want to go back in. Here I am finding one of my favorite things from that day which is this old half cup made in Occupy Japan and it says for my half ass friends on there. Okay, I have to show you guys this. We want up here. All these chairs. I'm gonna have an asthma attack. This is so cool. Dang. Never seen anything like this. Check out this Dr. Dunk. That is sick. With the lightning bolts. That has got to be out of the 80s or 90s. Oh, look at this high chair. 20 bucks. Oh my god. All these magazines. Jars. I don't, I can't, I don't even know where to start. This old guy. Blankets are probably pretty nice, but I don't want to <laughs> go through them. Definitely some kind of animals up here. This is just wild. I'm so glad I wore a mask, you guys. Oh my god. No shade, though. This is just incredible. I'm gonna get to this transfer wear here. Let's hope they have some flow blue for me. Looks like some old bar wear. But I don't know. Old bottles. Thank you for joining me today. I am gonna to show you a haul from this barn and estate sale, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna be my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you again soon, bye-bye.